Well, the debate continues tonight following an incident inside of a girl's locker room at a public high school in Vermont. This after two girls, members of the school's volleyball team, say they asked another student, a biological male who identifies as female, to leave the locker room. The incident happened late last month in Randolph, Vermont, but it is what happened after the incident that has caused a lot of controversy. That's because when some of the athletes and their parents expressed concern, they believe their concerns were basically dismissed. And here to tell us more about this is Mary Margaret Olihan, senior reporter at The Daily Signal, who has been following this story. Mary Margaret, great to see you. Um, tell us more about the situation. And also, I understand that you were able to attend a, a school board meeting earlier this week about this very thing. Yeah, well, Tracy, great to be here as always. I actually just got off a plane coming back from Randolph, Vermont, where I've been all week. We are about to release a video from the Daily Signal sharing these girls' experiences and their thoughts on this whole situation. Um, we went up to Randolph on Tuesday afternoon. We got there just in time for a school forum, which was led by the superintendent. All these parents came on both sides of the issue and brought their daughters. We were able to talk to some of them. And then the next day, we sat down with a lot of these parents and these girls, and we asked them to explain to us why they're uncomfortable with a biological male using their locker room why this school has handled it in the way that they have and what these girls think about the whole situation. And it's a really fantastic video. I'm excited for you to see it. I'm excited for everyone to see it. And it will be going up momentarily on the Daily Signal website. And Mary Margaret, what exactly did the school do after they um, you know, went to the school, I believe it was the principal, and expressed their concerns? What happened after that? Yeah, so what the girls tell me is that this biologically male student who identifies as transgender is playing on their volleyball team, went into their locker room, and two of the girls, Blake and Kayla, told me today that they were in there and they were changing. And what, from my understanding, a couple of the girls were in their underwear, they were putting on their shorts or their shirts, and the student came into the locker room and the girls said, please don't come in, we're changing. And when the student kept coming in, they said, get out, get out. Student went in anyways, stood around. The girl said that the student looked at them while they were changing. Um, it's kind of up in the air. Some of the girls said that the student was looking at them. Some other girls said the student was just glancing at them. And so the girls were really upset about this. They said that it made them really uncomfortable. And they took their complaints to school officials. Well, I've also spoken to some of these school officials, the superintendent, Lane Millington, and the co-principal, Lisa Floyd. And what I've been told is that the school officials care about everybody's safety, but they're investigating whether harassment took place. And from my understanding and what the parents have also told me is they're looking into whether these girls were harassing this trans identifying student, not the other way around. And so Blake told me this week that she's facing allegations from the school that she harassed this student. And if she does, those could go on her record and that could potentially impact her acceptance at colleges, universities. She said she's interested in doing an exchange program. She's worried about whether it would affect that. But she also told us that she doesn't regret speaking out and she spoke out to us in this video, which um, I think will, will gain her more criticism and potentially some positive feedback. Um, and she says she doesn't regret speaking out because she thinks that people need to know the truth and that school officials should be aware that they need to pay attention to these girls' feelings and their discomfort at having a biological male in their space. All right. So, so basically, as I understand it, um, that the student who identifies as transgender, the biological male, um, still gets to use the locker room and uh, the girls maybe have to change in stalls. Is that correct? Well, what actually happened is the school kicked all of them out of the locker room. They said, we're not going to deal with this right now. So they told all of the volleyball team, including the trans student, you're all going to have to use separate bathrooms while we resolve this issue, separate locker rooms. And so they all are using separate locker rooms. And um, some of these are individual spaces. So when we were at this school superintendent's forum on Tuesday night, we saw some of these restrooms. It's it's kind of weird. They're, they have both the male and the female symbols on the sign. And then you go inside and there's a big door and you open the stall door and there, you know, it's, there's the toilet and the sink, but there's a big space. And you can tell that they ripped out some of the other toilets to make these kind of unisex bathrooms. But it's a little weird, Tracy, because, you know, I went to open the door and there was a guy that was going in because, you know, it's a unisex bathroom. So 
I could have walked in and some man was in there in the stall with the door locked. It's just a weird setup. And um, I asked the girls, I said, has this caused any problems? You know, it seems like girls and guys going in and out of the same bathrooms. That seems like it could be, you know, potentially problematic. And they were like, yeah, problem. Have we, people get in trouble all the time for going in and out or messing things up or n not behaving. So it's a mess up there. And these girls, I have to say, they're very brave for speaking out when they know how much criticism they could be getting about all of this. Well, Mary Margaret, I know that you're going to continue to follow that. Can't wait to see that video and so much more we could have talked to you about. So we're going to have to get you back on. Oh, thank you so much, Tracy.